Jared Poland, FronosPhoto.com, and this, this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. If you're looking to build your very own online portfolio, use what I've been using for my personal website at jaredpoland.com for well over 10 years. 10 years. The reason I do so is it's simple, easy, affordable. I don't need to know coding. I can put up galleries in under five minutes and they're out there in the world making me look better. To get your 14 day free trial, head on over to squarespace.com slash photo. If you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, it's officially official. Canon has discontinued the EOS M lineup. This is the end. First introduced in 2012 with the EOS M, which I don't ever recall seeing or playing with. And honestly, I don't think it caught on that much by the end. Now I think originally the EOS M was a way for Canon to dip their toes in gingerly. The water was cold. Into the pond that became the mirrorless world without actually diving all the way in and killing their DSLR sales. Now, I personally didn't review an EOS M style camera until 2017 when I took the M5 around Philly and even adapted EF lenses to it. I think that was one of the first times where my eyes were open to what Canon had a potential to do in the future if they decided to go all in on mirrorless cameras. Now, for the past few years, with the introduction of RFS lenses as well as crop sensor RF bodies, we knew the M was coming to an end. Yet Canon kept saying, it wasn't done just yet. Well, it's officially time to stick a fork in the EOS M lineup after close to 10 years, as Canon confirms the M, well, the M is dead. That was harsh. You were kind of good for the time, but didn't have the lens support, but that's okay because your legacy continues with the RF mount as well as RF lenses. Who here owns or owned an M camera? Let me know down below. Next up, we've got something interesting from Canon Rumors because a few weeks ago, they reported a bunch of patent filings for interesting mega zooms, but affordable style type of lenses. Things like a 300 to 1000 millimeter and a 300 to 800. But now they're saying that Canon will in fact announce a 200 to 800, 63 to nine IS on November 2nd. Now, what in the world would you need a 200 to 800 for? Christy. Is it a sports lens? Is it a wildlife and nature lens? Or is it something I haven't even thought of yet? I don't know. Now, if it is real, it's more than likely a lens designed for shooting outdoors since its max aperture is F9 and there's not many indoor places where zooming into 800 millimeters would even work. But this might be great for those birders who want to capture a fluffy backed tit baller or the feared Dick Sissel. Phone call. Wonder who that could be. Hello? Ah, oh, it's Ezekiel with Canon PR. Oh, I, I forgot to mention the Adeen cock of the rock. Anything else? Nothing, nothing about cameras? Oh, all right. Anyway, get back to work. Bye. Now, a lens like this might be a perfect choice for nature and wildlife photographers who do this just for fun. Now, truth be told, they still will complain that it's not enough length. That's what she said. But they'll want a 2000 millimeter lens, but they want to pay like $12 for it. Now, speaking of dollars, the rumor is that this lens will clock in at $2,000. Now, I've been anti mega zooms in the past as you trade quality for reach, but these days, quality and reach seem to go hand in hand. Thoughts, prayers, leave them down below. <laughs> Yeah, podcast. Have you listened to Frono's Photo Raw Talk yet? There's lots of episodes that come out every Friday wherever you get your podcasts or go to fronosphoto.com slash podcast. And finally, Sony Alpha Rumors, which has been voted the least likely to get things right by JP Power and Associates, you sure? is claiming that on November 7th and 8th, that is the day that we will see two new product announcements from Sony. First, they claim many sources have told them the 302.8 will become officially official. Now, for those who don't know, the 302.8 has already had a development announcement and has been out in the wild for some time now, including people posting pictures on Instagram that were taken with the lens. But if November 7th or 8th is the day, that's gonna make a small group of people happy and ready to drop some big bucks. 15 bucks, little man. But my question ultimately will be, who wants a fixed 302.8 when you can have a Canon 100 to 302.8 instead? What's your weight? Eight pounds. Personally, I would have loved to have been a fly in the wall in the meeting where Sony was like, hey, we heard Canon has a 100 to 302.8 coming. Yeah, it probably wasn't a good meeting.
Now for the second part of the rumor, which they say isn't confirmed just yet, is that the A93 will be announced at the same time. They're saying the A93 will be the world's fastest full frame camera. What, what, what does that even mean? How many megapixels will it be? Will it somehow be better than an A1? Now these are all the questions that we'll have to wait and see, as well as wait to see if any of these rumors are actually true. And there you have it, Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.